Hello. So we are going to take a look at what is new in version two of PQ Food Toys. Um, it's a minor update in terms of um, content, but um, in terms of the way it's delivered, it's completely new because it's now a script UI panel, um, which is brilliant because you can have it nested in your in your After Effects layout. Um, so let's take a look. So yeah, here it is. It's um, this lovely little script panel that you can dock anywhere in your After Effects layout. Um, I like mine down beside the effect controls. And whether or not you're familiar with the first version of Food Toys, it kind of doesn't matter because it's pretty self-explanatory what it is. Basically version two just has a much nicer method of browsing and importing these comps into your project. Either browse by the categories or use the search bar to filter through them all to find what you want. Another cool feature is the uh, thumbnail option. So what you need to do is turn on the thumbnails and uh, for some reason you just need to relaunch the panel. So close it, open it again and boink. Yeah, you've got this epic list of all the different crazy things that are included in here. This is a really fast, like just visual way of like getting to what you want as well. Quite often in these comps you'll see a foo control null um, at the top and that's basically the layer that holds all the expression controllers. So you're gonna go there, see what parameters there are available and just like, and just tweak them to get it how you want it. So if I click on the temperature thing, it's a little bit like the Nest thermostat interface. In this case, the thickness of the dashes is edible, the temperature, um, and if it goes below whatever degrees, it switches to the, the dark color. You can also edit the color of what cold or hot is. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. If I click on figure eight, version one, um, we can control thickness, some colors, and whether or not this little dot appears up front. And this is a good example. If you ever want to go deeper into it and edit things, um, for kind of neatness, everything is hidden just by the shy layer button. So if you want to actually go and like do something different, edit paths or tinker with it, just untick the shy button and it's just like a normal comp. Make whatever changes you want. Just like in version one, we've got this stay on target comp. Got some options here for craziness, speed, the cell size of the grid and the walls, and whether or not you want a frame or not. Double click on voice synth, and you can edit the position offset. You can change the width. You can change the delay between the bars. You can change the different colors included. And yeah, so there are tons of comps to go through, um, tons of customization options. Everything's kind of a little bit different. They all have little variations in the nature of the way the expression controllers are put together, but it's all pretty logical and you should be able to figure out how to customize it how you want it. Yeah, check it out and um, thanks.